Hey guys, this is Anna Dia from Kansas Tutorials, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the auto updating products today. Um, plop, like unleash the secret to the code. Um, so, I'm going to be making a tutorial for it so that all of you can put it on your home pages. It's a really brilliant feature um, that will give you certainly a leg up on any shop that you do and all your layouts. It will give you a leg up on the competition, and it's splendid to work with. So it's really simple. Um, the coding is on Canvas right now um, in the tutorial category. Click on tutorials and you'll find it right there in the listing. Um, but what this is, is you copy the code, you put it in your piece of coding in your product box. Um, we're going to kind of go over that real quick. Let me make this um, bigger and full screen. Um, there is a couple of steps in this process. So please follow along if you get stuck, pause it, rewind it, and we'll go back over it. So this, let me get it so I can get it all in one window here. It might be a little small on the screen. Okay. This is the code that I have provided. Okay. Um, let's look at the box above. You code it just like a normal product box or scroll box in which you have the width, the height, left, top, etc. You're going to close off the div right here. So it's going to have all that and there's going to be nothing inside the div, kind of like this one, where you have the div ID, updates box, and you have all the content and then the div closes it. Well, you're going to go ahead and close the div. And then paste the code right underneath. Now, you don't have to do anything to this. Pardon my phone. Um, what you'll have to do is put, just make sure that this name matches with this name. If those two match, then this code will work. If they don't match, you're not going to see anything, so make sure that's good. Um, you don't have to put your ID anywhere, like your um, IMVU ID tag. Um, that's what makes it really simple. Um, so anyway, um, now we're going to home page setup. First of all, over here on the left, or excuse me, the right hand side of the screen, where my little sticker is, you need to not have any panels. All your panels need to be in the middle and aligned. Um, you don't have to have all your panels active. Like for instance, the four that you see are active. My stickers is only for my view, as is my recent visitors, but my new products and my videos. Um, go to your account. Scroll down to Panel Visibility, and you'll want to set your new products panel to everyone, as well as you can either use my URL or my videos or any of that. You can use Sandbox as well, I've heard. You can use those, um, but whichever panel you're using, set it to everyone. Okay, we're going to that page. <laughs> okay. Something that's very, 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 very critical. Your new products panel, it should be visible. I'm in safe mode, by the way. I'm going to be editing in safe mode so that you can see. Um, your new products panel has to be above whatever panel you're using. If you're using my videos, my URL, or sandbox, it needs to be above that panel. Also, <clears throat> something that I'm going to briefly talk about is the placement of this code. As you can see, mine's at the bottom. Um, Plop had warned me that the products, like the product coding, this is just if you're coding on your own. If you're here for, you know, how to put this on your homepage, um, then you've basically done all the work. You just insert the code and go. Um, make sure you click preview or else you won't see the icons. Um, anyway, but this part of the coding has to go underneath your Abby box. I, for safe measure, put it as my last bit of code before all the hashtags. I put it as my last bit just because, A, so that my clients won't mess with it, <laughs> or they won't be tempted to mess with it, because I'll have to scroll all the way to the bottom and then it just looks like mush. And also, it's just really simple to be at the end and make sure there's no mistakes. So, go ahead and copy the whole code. Your fixed code, you're going to paste it in, click save. You're going to click preview. 
like I said, um, well, if I didn't say this before, I am doing Hive's um, homepage for this one. Um, so this is the homepage I made for him. And the icons, as you can see, they're my icons and they stop. Um, whatever homepage they're installed on, so when Hive installs this on his, it's going to have his icons rather than mine. But um, yeah, that's how you do it. And they'll scroll how it's set up right now. They'll scroll at a slower pace than a regular marquee, as you can see. And if you hover over, you can stop it. And yeah, um, it's a pretty simple tutorial, I thought. Um, if you guys have any questions or you have any tutorial requests, let us know in the comments or inbox us. Um, we have shut our Facebook group if you were in that. So sorry. Um, we have moved to the forums. You can see the link in the bottom of the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I hope that you will master the automatic product because this is one of the one of the tutorials that I was begging for and I was excited about, so I jumped on it. Um, a big thanks to Nick, aka Plop, because I begged him for the code and he gave it to me and explained how it worked um, and let me make a tutorial. So thank you and thank you for watching.